Good morning, wonderful Millsap friends. I wanted to share some really huge celebrations about iStation this month. So I was reviewing um, all the mini assessments and looking at the reports. And this one you're looking at right now is my very favorite. It's called the Rate of Improvement Graph. And from September until October, what we see here is that across your campus from kindergarten to fifth grade, all students had a high rate of improvement in all tiers. So all your tier three students had high rates of improvement, all your tier two had high rates of improvement, and even tier one had high rates of improvement, which means that growth for all is happening in Millsap. Hooray for all of you teachers who have been busting your humps. And just um, this graph is very much reflected in walking the building on Friday, going to, you know, about eight or nine classrooms and seeing just rigorous lessons underway in every room I got to visit. So I just know that this um, is reflective of the efforts you've been making. So this next graph is your tier movement graph. And what you should notice right out of the gate is that this is for overall reading. And the October graph is a lot taller because <clears throat> not all grade levels were able to assess in August and September, but almost every grade level has 100% completion in October. And so even with adding almost 250 kids taking the assessment, um, we still saw a, an improvement from moving kids out of red into yellow and from yellow kids moving into green. So that should make you all feel great. And um, this is the overall. What you'll see here is kinder to third grade is this is their early reading summary. And so I just really want to highlight kindergarten here. Almost um, eight out of 10 kids in kindergarten are showing up on grade level, which is huge celebration. And across the year, we're going to see these graphs just continuing to grow. The advanced reading, um, program, this is what I'm most familiar with in my years in the classroom, is very, very rigorous. So um, it'll be exciting to watch our fourth and fifth graders just continue to make leaps and bounds as well. I do know that the advanced reading assessment is demanding and challenging. So this is the skill growth um, by tier for each grade level. And what I noticed immediately is that every single trend line is inching upward for all the grade levels. Fifth, you'll be seeing that next month when you take your November one, the trend lines moving up means growth for all. So celebrate that. This particular graph, I do want to uh, mention because, wow, look at how many more students took it this month than last. And then these little pieces here are probably just students that maybe were absent on the day of the assessment. And I want to, um, I brought this up with Mrs. Bradshaw and she talked about getting in touch with Cindy Southern in the computer lab that can go in, figure out who's missing, and grab those kids and get them assessed. So anyways, I just wanted to share these with you. This last one comes individual teacher. I've redacted the names here, but basically don't forget, you can go in and look at your individual classes. This is called the goals. The um, kind of tells you kind of benchmarks for every month. And what I want to point out here in these three students from a particular class, and um, this can't be done for the whole campus, but you can go into your own individual classes and see. So these are the bars for that specific child and what we anticipate them meeting across the year. And so what I noticed here is here they were in September and gray. They not only met the October expectation, but exceeded it, exceeded it. And look at this one. Holy cow. So be sure to look at your individual student growth. Are they meeting the anticipated goals for each month? This progress monitoring is reflective of your hard work, and it's a great way to learn more about your students. Also, I want to remind many of the teachers that there are some intervention lessons. Uh, you can drill down into the student summary to find out more about your students' Lexile scores, which you want to track over time. You can also um, look at how they're managing their time within the assessments. And so I want to shout out to Marcy Southern and Kaylee Basil. We took some time on Friday to look at this data. And as we drilled down, they were fascinated by some of the reports that are available. So if you haven't taken time to check out all the iStation um, data, take time to do do that. And most importantly, I want to just say um, that I appreciate each and every one of you and your hard work is making, it's paying off. There's growth for all happening at Millsap. Hooray for you guys.